The historical index to Victorian birth, deaths and marriages can be found on the Victorian Registry website. To find the index, go to www.bdm.vic.gov.au. Then click on the Research and Family History link. Click on the Search Your Family History link and then click on Search Our Records Now. The search screen allows you to search by name, by event, by registration number and by date. You also have the option to search for births, deaths and marriages that happened at sea while en route to Victoria. If you click on the Show More Search Options link towards the bottom of the page, you can add additional details including place, names of the parents or names of the spouse. We recommend that you start with a simple search and only add additional information if you need to limit your results further. For this search I'm going to look for the death of Benjamin Bellingham. So I enter his family name followed by his given name. Because given names were often abbreviated I'm actually going to search for his initial followed by an asterisk. The asterisk is a truncation symbol and will retrieve all names beginning with the letter B. I then select the event box for death and then click on the search button. Here I retrieve one result which includes the parents names, the year of death and registration number. Click on the name to display the full citation. This includes further information such as the place of death and his age when he died. To purchase a certificate you simply follow the prompts displayed on the screen or click on the Refine Search button to return to the main search screen. I'm now going to do a search for the names of children born to Timothy Bellingham. In the family box I enter Bellingham and I then select the event box for birth. By clicking on the Show More Search Options link I can then enter the father's name, Timothy. I then click on the search button and retrieve six entries. The screen lists the children of Timothy and Hannah Bellingham. Now that you know the names of their children, you can start to research their lives. It's also worth looking at the way Hannah's maiden name was written. There are five variations of her name. This shows how names can often be misspelled or mistranscribed and demonstrates the need to constantly evaluate the records you find.